And we're off. Day 136. All right, we are 12 miles out from the Delaware Water Gap, <clears throat> which is, I believe, where the rocks end. So easy peasy. Headed out of here with a lot less weight than when we headed in. And we headed in with four and a half liters. Now I have one liter on my back. There's water and five at the shelter. It's a pretty flat day. 12 miles and we're going like oh, 1,300 feet up over the whole thing. Look how long you are. They're still growing. So a dozen little miles. Easy peasy. Rocks haven't gotten me down yet. And if this is their last chance, they're not going to win. I'm not even perturbed at them. Mildly annoyed at best. But not yet. I mean, give me a few hours. But yesterday I was getting mildly annoyed with them. Delaware Water Gap has more to offer than the past few towns. This one has a church we can stay at. If the other hikers haven't ruined it for us first, it's kind of the problem. It's happening on a lot of trails. <clears throat> you got those just disrespectful assholes out there that wreck it for everybody. Trail angels are dropping out left and right all across the trails. Towns like that last one that used to let us stay for free can't anymore because of the greasies of the world. And the bear man hikes and all of them have to carve their name and everything as they're walking by. You know what? Somebody should carve Blackula in this. Yeah. That's what this thing's missing. So, thanks to assholes like them, we all have less and less places to stay on the trail every year. I know I would not want to open a hostel. It'd be like taking daycare. You know, these kids all need supervision constantly. And they're fucking whiny and needy. No way I could run a hostel without choking somebody out. But I wasn't really meant for customer service kind of work. Because customers are always stupid. They're not always right, they're always stupid. Generally, the least informed person in the room is the customer. But anyway, anyway. So at least we haven't ruined Delaware Water Gap yet. <laughs> that I know of. And the church will let us stay. We couldn't find a laundry service in the town yet. But we'll see what goes on with that. And there is some other town that we saw mentioned. But the name, I can't remember it. It sounded like you were drunk with a mouthful of stuff when you pronounce it. So maybe we'll head there if we feel the need. It's like a $2 bus ride. And spend the night. Recharge, relax. As much as we can relax. Not a whole lot of time for it. You, know, you sit down, and you're like, ah, oh, I'm done hiking. Okay, let's go answer some texts or edit something. There's not a whole lot of time to just sit there and do nothing. I always have a list of chores on my on me. Whether I get them done is another thing, but I always have the list going on. morning again now. I actually decided to put my puffies underneath, well just one, as a underquilt last night. I'm glad I did. And I'm rocking a Patagucci this morning because it's chilly enough to wear layers. Crazy. Happy for it. Yesterday was a really nice hiking day. I suspect today will be too. 
let's have a little walk in safety meeting and enjoy our morning. Good morning, everybody. She's in the process of building. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to hope there's nothing right here, but I'm just going to kind of hope we can... That's not an air computer, is it? Oh, it totally is, yeah. She's not a big one. I think she's young. She's more yellow than the others. Yeah, that's what I don't recognize. But she's got the same body shape. Oh, let's catch you a moth. There you go. Oh, so close. Oh, let's try again. Come on, moth. Hey, mothy, mothy, mothy. Come on over here, buddy. Aw. Well, we almost got you. I guess it's breakfast for you. You seem like you're just waking up. Glad we don't have to destroy her web. But I do see some web going off to the left. I'm going to cut that one and see what happens. Oh. oh, hey, moth. Come on back, buddy. Right in here. Wait for it. Wait oh. for it. Oh. I know. I really want to see what it gets. Especially something good and juicy like a big old moth. Oh, where's she going? Uh, there's a little something in her web. Wow, look at her legs. Oh, and another little something. We don't want the little things. I mean, they work, but I'm getting bugs all up on me for this. Wow. Hmm. Where'd the big moth go? Oh, well. Where's she going in there? I don't know. That's her. That's your hidey hole. They, they do have a hidey hole they go in when they like come. Oh, big moth just crashed into my head. Oh, my head too. Right oh, hey moth. Come back over, buddy. What you should do is just let me. Yeah. Take off your headlamp and hold it right next to the web. Oh, and I got that moth in, in my line of sight. If he just gets off that leaf. <gasps> oh, what was that? Bat. That was a bat. Just took that moth. Oh, wow. <laughs> I hope I caught that. All right. I'm giving up. I wonder if that's why the spider head. I don't know. I don't think spiders. <coughs> used their spidey scent. Spider-Man could do it. He'd know there was a giant bat around. Son of a bitch. Get away from me. <laughs> no. The moth is coming for you. Oh, hey, I just stood there and review, reviewed my video for a moment. And I did not capture the bat on it. It happened just above frame. As far as I can tell. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to slow it down. Reflectors over there, yeah. I just find it weird when people put, you know, I understand that those reflective dots are for like hunters' trails and things like that, but every once in a while you see groupings of them. Is that marking a cool campsite? Very well, could be. Twelve caught something pooping on the trail. 
I only saw the eyeballs as it was running away, looking over its shoulder, all in guilt, because, you know, you got caught surface shitting on the trail. That's just embarrassing. Don't know what it was. Was it a little bobcat? Was it a raccoon? I don't know. Could have been. Yeah, its eyes were too close together to be a deer or anything like that. Definitely look like it looked at us with binocular vision. But I, I'm not good enough with turds to tell. I'm pretty good with turds, but I'm, I'm not an expert there. That did look kind of like a cat turd to me. I mean, like the size of my kitty that I used to have at home. But you know, I want everything to be a cat. Except when I don't want it to be a cat. But hey, you, you go through mountain lion territory maybe in a foggy storm in the dark. Fresh turds around and you're kind of high. And tell me you won't get paranoid. Oh, it's the tall grass too. It's the fog and the tall grass combination of those two. I was like, I am not liking this at all. You know, you're walking through their hood. They know where the good ambush points are. They don't want to get hurt. But there's really nothing big enough in these woods to hurt me. I'm more of a danger to myself than anything else. Pennsylvania was not as rocky as I remember it being. I mean, we're almost done.
<laughs> that was that was a gun. Sounded like about 15 rounds. Oh. I have no idea what it was by sound, but I'm not that cool. But I'm sure whatever they were shooting is dead. Ooh, the wolf rocks, huh? Those were the wolf rocks. So wolfy. Felt like I was running with a pack. On my back. Is this actually where we've worn the stones flat? It sure does look like it, but... How many feet does it take to do that? If I wasn't already lit, I'd say safety meeting. This is a good spot. Where right on the trailer is it right down there?
It was a really pleasant morning. I don't know why the birds all have slept in. We we'll get the one dude over here. But more or less. I think it's a really good morning. Wish I was a few miles ahead. I'd like to yeah, get in town, get me some breakfasts. This seems like a bigger town. Well, at least it has more icons on it than the usual town. Don't know about size. I haven't actually Googled it yet. I mean, I don't often, because I don't know where I'm going to end up. Get in town, figure out where you're at, and then go from there. There's a nice little break. Just putting your feet flat on the ground feels nice. Behold, the most level and flat spot in all of Pennsylvania. It's not very big. It stops right, right there. But right here, you can feel it. It's like being in the womb. Route 199, 191, Fox Gap. Exciting wolves to foxes. Stop this invader. Another kiosk. Oh, we are blessed. These are great things in a rainstorm. Well, maybe not this one. That roof is. Kind of in disrepair. <laughs> and that's the whole family up here. We made it to the shelter. Fire and half pint are there already. Everybody's awake. Well, there's more tents up here. I'm going towards the water source. It's a spigot, so I don't have to filter. That's nice. Fire has a tent, but he cowboy camps and sometimes uses his tent as a blanket. There are a bunch of hikers here, Fire being one of them. He broke out something called a Shattered J. And I am lit. I was making second coffee and he came along and said, hey. And yeah, so here I am. I didn't grab enough water on my first walk over, so. Now I'm filling mine and who is this? this? I could offer to grab water for everybody because I'm cool like that. But only one person needed it, thank God, because I don't want to carry it up, but I, I ask. Oh yeah, it's half pints. <clears throat> but I spent it way longer here than I really intended to, but I'm, I'm lit. So it's like six miles to town, it's going to take a minute. Definitely not going to be there in time for breakfast, I can tell you that. Been lots of gunfire this morning. I don't know if it's all coming from the same place. Most of it is, but we've turned some corners and such, so 
you know, could all be coming from, but it sounded like it was coming from the left of me for a while and then the right. So we just out having a good time. Spent a lot of money blowing some stuff up. It's kind of fun. I've done it. Gone to the dollar store, bought a bunch of pots, pans, and shaving cream and stuff. Just go out and blow it up in the desert. It's happened. have taken out so many people over the years. So many sharp edges just poking out. Makes me think of the picture of Winget's hand. Oh, that had to hurt so bad. It looked pretty gory. Super deep. You could look inside his hand. At least a little bit of the picture I saw. I looked away because I found later in life I don't really like gore as much as I used to as a kid. Hope his hand heals up. It's gonna be rough hiking all sweaty with 18 stitches in your hand. Hands come in really handy for stuff. That's why they're called hands, maybe. I know he's taking some time off to go to a concert, so good for him. Gives him a little time to heal up and then come back out. But he is missing some really good hiking weather right now. Be a more interesting walk if they were fruity pebble colored. Just saying. Come on, nature, get working on that. We had an opportunity to jump off trail and do some roads into town back there at the power lines. But they went really far away from the trail and took us in on the far side of town. And there'd be no shade. It's a cool day, but I can definitely feel the sun on me. Humidity is a bit higher than the past couple of days. But it's pretty much the last climb into town. Twelve just found an alien skull on the trail. Look at that bad boy. What else could it possibly be? Let me that later. 
These men we just passed a whole family and they had a bunch of kids and they were really interested in through hiking. So we stopped and answered a lot of questions for shit a good like 10 minutes. This is a very popular trail. So we were creating, ooh, a traffic jam. I had to do a spinning move to get down there. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it went on for a while, but you know, you know, we're educating the youth of America. It is a strange world when you grab people like me and fire and like, hey, would you talk to our children for us for a while? Like, yeah, sure, how can you say no to that? <laughs> Stay in school, kids. I mean, I'm a dropout, but you don't have to be. No, you know, they just float there drinking. We are way up here. Yep, that is. I'm pretty sure it's the Delaware. I don't know. But I know it's way down there. There's a lot of people passing us, and I was judging by the sweat on their backs and the amount of liquid in their water bottles. And we're still a decent ways up. And then we came around the corner where you could see. We're still a decent ways up. <laughs> Who put all these rocks in our way? I like downers. Mm. <laughs> we don't need them. That's the thing about the hooch is that notch is everyone talks about how it's easier to go up or down it. I don't remember being up or downhill. I just remember bouldering. I'm almost to the end of this. I'd really like to get into the town to the right, man. Yeah, Got ramen bowls there. It's a Japanese restaurant. I'm totally craving something like that. But the bus doesn't run on the weekends. What kind of shit is that? You need buses on the weekends. We just follow this little road the rest of the way out. This place is busy as hell today. Everybody's squeezing in everywhere that they can. Parking lot is full. The house is so amazingly yellow. I love it. There's a hiker box. Let's go check it out. There's a hiker box on the porch and I found a new fanny pack. It's bigger than my other one and much cleaner. I've had this one since 2018. Got it on the PCT somewhere. So it's seen its time. It's got holes in it and stuff, and it's not really big enough to hold my phone and, you know, the safety supplies and my wallet and all that stuff. It's been making do, but I'm going to really rock this bad boy now. Well, that was really pleasant. Got breakfast. Lady came up and she uh, started talking to us, and she bought all three of us breakfast. They had blackjack bubble gum. Uh, I haven't seen that stuff in forever. Blackjack. Hmm. We did not get ice cream, not yet. We're going to go check out the church, get set up, and then come back for ice cream. I need to focus on that. I got facial hair, licking ice cream cones. It's going to be all messy. Get me to walk around with my gear and my poles and trying to set up and stuff. Disaster waiting to happen. I vaguely remember this place. Ooh. Yeah, I will be headed back. Hey, there's half pint. I will be headed back to get some ice cream a little later. Uh, that was very important, but I want to get set up somewhere. I remember there was a bunch of bunks inside, but I don't want to be inside. Remember it was hot and humid because of the showers. Yeah, I do remember this.
So this is the tenting area, but I couldn't find anywhere to hammock. So I just took what was available. <laughs> I don't even know I'm there. I don't mind sleeping under a porch. It's kind of fitting, if anything. Yeah, now it's my screen. I'm glad I'm all set up. It decided to start raining. I was not really expecting that to happen. It didn't seem like it was going to rain today, but hey, here we are. Fortunately, I'm under the porch, so, you know, I've got the porch floor and ceiling to protect me. And there's a bunch of tables laid out on that that'll block the rain, so I should be fine under where I'm at. Got all my stuff's charging, you know, being responsible, sitting here editing some movies. I don't want to be, but, you know, hey, we all got a job to do. Mm -hmm. well, I'd rather be eating some ice cream, but... I filled up on stupid ramen. I mean, it was really good at the time, but... Oh, but they don't have the ice cream I'm looking for. Everywhere it's got Hershey ice cream. Um, and I'm just looking for some basic Rocky Road and, and mint chocolate chip. But they didn't have either of those flavors there, so that, that kind of turned me off. I don't want a big old waffle cone with just a chocolate and a vanilla in there. That's pretty lame.